Here we are again, coming to you from the Carmen Ford Escape as we get set for another week of Country 88's Employee of the Week. And we're coming to you, Tawanda Mwambo. Yeah, you're working at Pete Wall Carpentry in Morden, and you are the Employee of the Week. When we take a look at our Employee of the Week nominations that come in, and they're from everywhere. Like, we're talking north to Carmen, you know, west of Morden into that Manitou Pilot Mound area. Altona everywhere and we have all types of employees we really try and find folks that are what we call in the trenches and when we got Tawanda's nomination from Henry there was no doubt in our minds as soon as we heard the reference heart as big as a fourplex apartment that <laughs> Tawanda was the right guy for this week's employee of the week the fact that you you moved to Canada when you were older that's always a little more challenging than when you move here when you're a kid you know, you're here working every day, you're a happy-go-lucky guy, you're caring for folks in the evening, and you're doing your job top, top notch. To us, that is an employee of the week. Well, you hear it so often that somebody says that and that person has a heart as big as a house. Well, the experience we've had with this guy, getting to know him better and better, uh, it's his is actually a little bit bigger than just one person's, uh, or a house. Uh, like I said, uh, he takes uh, care of an elderly gentleman after work, spends nights there helping him and his mom and dad being a little bit foreign here still. Uh, it's, uh, he's got a really big heart. It's as crazy as uh, life can get sometimes. He can always stay calm in it and uh, you need that type of person that you work with. It's, it's worth so much because he, he doesn't lose his cool. You know? it's... And I hear he's a really big hearted guy. Oh yeah, huge heart. He's, he listens so much you often feel guilty because you talk so much after uh, because he's such an amazing listener and such a giving person. Yeah. I hurt my knee a little while ago and the first thing he did was ask me how I'm doing and offer me some advice to make my knee get better, to make it work throughout the day a lot less painfully and stuff. So he, he's always there to give anybody a hand, whether it be even work related or not. <laughs> so he's, he's, he's got a good heart and he may, everyone can see it. It's awesome because if you're having a bad day, he'll make you have a good day. <laughs> Let's start with Tawanda. How does it feel to be recognized this week? It's a bit overwhelming right now. <laughs> Tell us uh, a little bit about uh, your story because you did move to Canada a number of years ago. So kind of give us a bit of your story where you're from originally and, and how you ended up in Morton. Okay, I'm from Zimbabwe and I came here about seven years ago and I've always wanted to come to Canada. So I looked around the world and Morton seemed like a perfect place. It's also almost the same size as the town that I lived in. I'd like to say thank you to Pete and Tammy and Henry, Melody, Shirley, Irma, Corny, Julie and the rest of the staff because they make it possible. It's almost like a family environment working here and good production is produced. You know there's good correlation between family environment and good production. Mm -hmm. 